Hi there. So I've had a number of people uh, asking me for a little bit more information about how to run Hashcat and do some basic hash cracking. So I thought I would record this video real quick as like a demo to give you an idea of what, what to do. Okay, so uh, I'm here in, in Cali and I'm going to open up a terminal. And from my terminal is where, of course, I'm going to run Hashcat and the mass processor and everything else that you would use to crack password hashes. Now, I have set up a directory called hash cracking where I've already placed a set of hashes I'm going to crack. Uh, in this case, these are actual leaked password hashes that were taken from a hack from a few years ago from a company called Stratfor. And if I take a look at that file, you'll see it's just full of hashes. Um, and if I look through it a little bit, uh, you can just see it's lots and lots of hashes. And interestingly, some of them are the same. So like this one and this one. So that means that whatever users these hashes were taken from, some of them were using the same passwords, which is not a huge surprise, actually. Now, from the reading about the attack, uh, I already know that these hashes are MD5, MD5 hashes. So uh, I know that Hashcat can handle MD5. So let me take a look at the Hashcat uh, help information. Let's take a look and see you know, what sort of hashes Hashcat can handle. So as I kind of go through all the options, uh, there's an option down below for Hashcat uh, that basically handles, let me see, the hash types that it can do. And you can see there's a lot of different hash types it can handle. The simplest one, and you can tell because it's hash type zero, is MD5. Um, but it also has MD5 with salt, uh, different ways you could do the salting, et cetera, et cetera. So all these different options. And Hashcat adds these different types of password hashes, presumably because different systems hash their passwords different ways, and the idea is to be able to handle all of those. So anyway, there's a lot of them, but the one we're interested in, because these particular hashes are MD5, is MD5. If you were looking for a different type of hash, for example, SHA-1, that one's 100, or uh, the, the standard MT hash and Windows NT hash is 1,000, et cetera, et cetera. So different hash types are all encoded here, and you can find that in the Hashcat help information. But I'm looking for zero. Okay, so when I run Hashcat, loosely speaking, it gives me a quick bit of information about the order in which I should do things. So I should run Hashcat, pass in any options that I want. In this case, I want the option dash M0 to say these are MD5 hashes. Then I pass in the hash file, which is the file containing the hashes. Now it doesn't matter what you name the file, I just have to have the file there. And then it says I should pass in either a mask or word files or directories. So I'm gonna pass in a word file, a dictionary, uh, a list of passwords that I wanna try. So I'm gonna use one of the default passwords that's here on Kali, and that is from this one, taking it out of uh, this directory, it's just called password.list. It has something like 86,000 sample passwords in it. So I'll use that one here and let's see what happens. If I run hashcat on just that hash with just a, a basic default password list, let's see how many I get. Okay, so hashcat went through my file and it gives an interesting report here. It says that inside my strat4 file there's 860,149 hashes. And just based on using that one word list that I gave in, it cracked 8,166 of them. Well, now I'm kind of curious. That, that file that I was just looking at, the dictionary file, how many you know, words are in that one? So let's see. Metasploy, JTR, password.list. Okay, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so here's a sample of some of the things that are in that file. Mostly it's just a lot of English words. But if I want to know how many there are, I'll just count it. I can use a Linux program called WC for that. WC-L, count the number of lines. So there's 88,000. So there's 88,000 different potential passwords in that file. And it's going to try each one of those passwords against each hash in my hash list and get me these results that say, okay, it found 8,000 different passwords from that list. Well, that's not very good, actually. <clears throat> 8,000 from 860,000. It's really not a lot. So what I really wish I could do is I wish that I could like start with these words as a base and do some tweaking, you know, add numbers to the end or add numbers to the beginning or things like that to see if I can get more. And it turns out you can. So Hashcat supports a set of rules. And the easiest way to write those rules is with the mask processor. So there's a tool called the mask processor. And what you do 
is you write inside of single quotes here some rules for what you want that mask to look like. So for example, if I want to have a rule that says, you know what, I want to try each of those words with a digit at the end, then to say I want this thing to be at the end, I put a uh, dollar sign, and then I put a question mark D, and this communicates this should be a digit. So what this does, when I run the mask processor, is it outputs a list of, not, of 10 different rules. And each rule, so dollar sign zero means put a zero on the end of the word, dollar sign one means put a one at the end of the word, etc., etc. So it, out, it outputs all these rules. And if I run Hashcat with those rules, then what Hashcat will do is it'll load a, a potential password from the password dictionary, this one here. It'll create 10 different versions of it according to the rules, and then it'll try each of those against my list of hashes and see if any of them match. So in order to use it with Hashcat, I have to put this inside of a file. So I'll put this inside of a file called rule. And now I'll say Hashcat, still doing dash M0, but now it's dash R to specify a rule file. Now the line before this, I produced these 10 lines, and then I wrote the output into a file called rule. So, uh, so do that. I'm going to use that new rule file that I had, pass in the strat4 hashes again. And then my dictionary, of course. So word list. And see if we find any additional ones. Okay, so it's definitely finding things. So in this case, it found 3,895 passwords. And you'll notice when you look up at the samples it did, it's they look like what we expected, a word with a number at the end. Now, this does not, now when I run it like this, it only tests the variance that I, that I requested, which is the word plus a number. It doesn't test just the word. So the total number of hashes I can crack so far is you know, 3,895 with this set of rules, with this rule, and plus the about 8,000 that I got by just trying the words directly. Okay, but let's try a different rule just for fun. Um, so let's say that instead of just a digit at the end, maybe I want to put my digit at the beginning instead. And for the beginning, I put a little caret, which means begin with a digit. So let's write that as my rule and run hashcat. Ooh, that only got me 474. That's actually not that many. Um, that's interesting to know. So not many people form their passwords with just like a number plus something. Well, okay, I'm curious. How about if I build my rule with a special character at the beginning instead of a digit? So now my rule says special character. So at the beginning of the word, special character. Okay. Just if you're curious what's in my rule file there, that's what my rule file looks like. Okay, let's run hashcat. Well, in that case, it only found 15. So really not that many. It's a little bit more of an obscure rule. Okay, just for fun, let's try two digits at the end. So I'll do a digit at the end, and I can actually specify two things at a time in my rule. So this is saying one digit at the end, and then another digit after that. Just put that in the rule. And just so you can see what that produces, kind of like what we'd expect, it produces every combination of two digits, each with a separate rule. So let's run hashcat with that one. Hopefully you'll notice as my rule gets more complex, it takes longer to run the crack. That's because each word in my password file gets expanded to be one thing for every rule. So in this case, I have... 100 rules, so each word in my dictionary becomes 100 different potential passwords that are tried against my hashes. So anyway, with two digits on the end, I got 6,715. So adding all this stuff up together, what, I got about 8,000 from just using the dictionary directly. I got 6,000, got, you know, almost 7,000 here for putting on with two numbers. I got another 4,000 with just one number. You know, so I could keep applying different rules and I could keep getting different passwords. So hopefully that's an interesting introduction to the basics of using Hashcat and the mask processor. And I hope it's helpful to you. Thanks.